Hello and welcome to the user video for the Hylotherm HTP1 device. Um, Hylotherapy provides temperature controlled cooling to reduce pain, swelling and bruising following injury or surgery. Um, this video is designed for both medical professionals um, using the Hylotherm devices in hospital, but also for patients who are using Hylotherm at home as well. So um, first of all, you should have access to uh, an instruction laminate. Please look out for this, it's very, very useful. Um, it has step-by-step -step instructions for using the device on the front, and there are also some um, useful hints and troubleshooting guides on the back as well. So please do look out for the instruction laminate. So you want to start off by placing the device on a flat, stable surface. It needs to be plugged into the power supply and obviously also near to where the patient is either sitting or lying. One of the key things is to make sure that you have plenty of ventilation all the way around the machine. Um, so it needs a good 20 to 30 centimetres on each side and also to be placed off the floor. The device needs to be able to draw air in and push air out. So um, it's really essential to the cooling that there is plenty of ventilation all the way around the device. So once you've done that, you can turn the device on. So um, we're going to connect in the long blue tubing, which is called a duo hose. So to, the correct way to do this is um, the connectors on the top have an outer metal collar. So you push down the outer, outer metal collar, place in and release, push down, place in and release. So for those working in hospitals, this is connected in a similar way to a blood pressure cuff. Um, and then if you do want to um, disconnect, you just press down on the outer metal collar. So push down, place in and release, push down, place in and release. And to connect in the cuff, um, it's exactly the same. So you would just pull down and push onto the cuff. Um, and then to release it, you would just pull down on the outer metal collar again. Um, so once you've got everything connected, you can um, now start the water flow. The machines are sent out um, with water already in them and um, in a hospital, the water should already be filled up as well. If you want to check this, you can unscrew the cap on the top and just check that um, the tank is, is two thirds full. It doesn't need to be full to the top, um, only about two thirds full. So you shouldn't need to do anything with the water unless you get an error message to alarm and say error water level. If that happens, you just unscrew the cap um, and then pour in some water. It needs to be either sterile or distilled water, definitely not tap water as that will damage the device. Um, so the, the temperatures, um, once you've got the machine turned on at the back, um, you can adjust the temperature using the up and down arrows. Um, so the normal recommended temperature for the face is between 16 and 19 degrees, with 16 being the colder temperature. And for the, the knee, the foot, um, or other sort of orthopedic surgery or body surgeries, we would normally recommend between 15 to 18. Um, so if you have got thicker bandaging um, or something like that, you might want to take that temperature down slightly lower to say 12 degrees. But it's worth bearing in mind that Hylotherm is a temperature controlled treatment. It's not like ice, you're not aiming to go as cold as possible. So the key thing is to use a temperature that you're comfortable at using for long periods of time. Um, because Hylotherm isn't like ice, you can use it continuously 24 hours a day if you wanted to. So please do select a temperature that works best for you or your patient. So once you've adjusted the temperature and you've got everything connected, you can then start the water flow. So um, with the, we've got a few different models of, of HTP1. So some of them are used for facial surgery and some are used for orthopedic surgery as well. So um, for uh, face surgery, you can use it in eco mode, which is just pressing start very quickly. Um, but for the orthopedic cuffs, you need to make sure that when you press the start button, you are activating the power mode or the boost mode. So to do that, you just press and hold start for at least three seconds. 
So you will find that if you're using one of our knee cuffs or our large orthopedic cuffs and you just press start quickly, there won't be enough water flowing through. So it's very important that if you are using one of those cuffs, you press and hold start for at least three seconds. Um, so with the cuff itself, we do have separate fitting guides for the lower face cuffs and also for the knee cuff as well. So please do refer to those videos. Um, but one of the main things is that you need to make sure that the water is flowing all the way around. So Hylotherm works by cooling water to a specific temperature, then pumping it around the particular cuff fitted to the part of your face or body. If the water can't travel all the way around, then it won't be able to cool effectively. So one of the key things to do is when you've fitted the mask, just check that the water is circulating all the way around by just feeling um, whether there is water flowing through all the way through the mask. So you need to check that there's no kinks or impingements and that the water is flowing all the way around. So if you want to stop using the device, so say you're going to the toilet or just taking a short break from using it, all you do is stop the water flow. Um, if you have finished using the treatment, so um, maybe uh, the patient's leaving hospital or the device is being returned from a home rental, then you will make sure that you leave everything connected with the water flow stopped for at least 10 minutes. Um, if I was to disconnect from here now, quite a lot of water would come out of the cuff. So in order to maintain as much water as possible in the machine, you need to make sure you've left it connected with the water flow stopped for at least 10 minutes before you disconnect it. The long blue tubing is not single patient. This needs to stay with the machine at all times. Um, if you are working in a hospital, we do often recommend that this is labelled with do not throw away. Um, but the cuff itself, so from here, um, is single patient. So that means that if a patient is using it in hospital, they can take it home and we recommend that they do in case they want to, to rent a device um, from us to use at home. Um, so that's, that's the main thing. Um, and obviously when returning the device, if you are a home rental patient, you just need to make sure that you return the long blue tubing to us along with the device and the power cable. So one thing to look out for, um, we also have a troubleshooting video, that's it for the, the standard instructions, but we do also have a troubleshooting video. So if you do have any issues in using the device, please do check the troubleshooting video. Um, but otherwise, thank you very much for watching.